Welcome to another QMI 1500 tutorial session. In this tutorial session, we'll focus on uh, question 15 from assessment number one for the year 2022. This tutorial session is brought to you by Kali Tutors. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to make sure that you get access to all the videos the moment that we upload them. If you'd like to join our online online classes where you will interact with us please go to kalitutas.co.za okay without wasting any more of your time let us read the question a certain number of cans with a height of 24 centimeters and a radius of 2 centimeters are placed in a box that is 48 centimeter by 48 centimeter by 48 centimeter what is the number of cans that the box will carry okay so first of all let us try to analyze the question through drawings right okay we are told that uh, we have a box okay we have a box okay so we have a box and then we are also told that the, we are also given the dimensions of the box the box is said to to have a length, breadth, and height of 48 centimeters. So everything is 48, 48, and 48. Okay. So this is 48, this is 48, and this is 48. So remember, a box has a base. Okay. A box has a base. So this is the base of the box. Uh, we're gonna use the base to determine the number of cans that can fit here uh, on the base, right? Okay, so that is the base. So uh, another piece of information that we are given is that each can has a height of 24, 24 centimeters. This means that each can, okay, is actually half the size of half the size of a of the box so the height of each of the cans uh, that are seated on the base will be up to here so to get this other portion here at the top you'll have to, will have to multiply the number of cans here at the bottom uh, by okay we'll have to multiply the number that we get for the cans at the bottom by two to get the total here okay so how do we go about uh, solving this problem given what we already know okay first of all we need to recognize that uh, the base is it's a square the base is a square so we can determine the area of the base since this is 48 by 48 okay we also need to uh, recognize the fact that each can is a what it has a circular base right and then so if we have two cans next to each other we'll have something like this yeah like through your naked eyes you can tell that there are actually spaces uh, that are not occupied by what by the can so it, it, this means that okay the cans the the cans do not really uh they they, they i mean the if we sum up the area of the cans themselves, they will not uh, equal the area of the base because there are portions that are actually not what not occupied by by the cans. Then how do we go about uh, solving this problem? So the effective area that belongs to one can looks something like this. It's actually a square, not not circular. So each each can will occupy that area. And then the next can will occupy, uh, will have, a, will occupy a, a, an equal effective area. So you can see by doing this that what we need to calculate it's it's not actually the area of, it's not actually the area of the can itself, but the effective area covered by the can, which is in a form of a square, right? How then do we determine the size of these uh, smaller squares, the effective area of what of the cans? So it's simple, okay? I'm saying it's simple, okay, because we are given the radius of 
of the of the cans so the radius is two that means the diameter is four right so the distance from here to here is your diameter and then that is four and since it's a square we know it's four because the same diameter is four this is your diameter is four so now we can determine the what we can determine the area uh, for each uh, smaller square, which is the effective area of your or, or, of the of the cans, okay, or the effective area projected by the cans, depending on how you wanna pronounce it, okay. So now we know the info, all the information that we need to know. So what we need to do is to determine the the area of the bigger of the base of the box and then determine the area of the effective effective uh, okay the effective area of the cans and then divide the area of the of the base of the box with the area of one uh, can okay of the effective area of one can okay let us do that so to determine the area of the bigger to determine the area of the bigger square we're gonna have L square okay which is equals to 48 square okay to determine and then this will be equal to okay let me calculate uh, this is equals to 48 times uh, take out your calculators and make sure that what I get here is correct 48 times 48 okay this is uh, 2304 uh, centimeter square okay this is the area of the bigger uh the area of the bigger square okay the area of the smaller square which is given by uh l square as well this is equals to four square and this is 16 okay centimeter okay i'm gonna write this here centimeter square okay now we have uh both areas the only thing to do now is to determine the number of squares of smaller squares that can fit in in the bigger square okay so how do we do that we're gonna take uh where is it we're gonna say a big okay uh divide by a small okay small so this is your small this is your big okay then what do we get we're gonna get uh, 2304 divide by 16 this will be equal to okay divide by okay this one divide by 16 this gives us 144 144 okay remember 144 tells us the number of cans okay that fit here on the base but we know that the height of each can is half of the height of the box therefore we need to multiply this this uh, answer by two then we'll have two times 144 this is equals to 288 so the correct answer for this question is this one okay I hope uh, this actually helps you understand the problem and I hope my calculations are clear enough to help you be able to solve any problem that looks like this in the future. Thank you for watching our videos. Please don't forget to subscribe.